if you're in contact with your ex and it's just this really mundane kind of boring conversation that's almost like friend zoney and you don't know how to get out of that and get into a place where you're creating attraction with your ex so that way you can actually have your relationship back instead of this weird little friend thing watch this video so first off it matters whether or not you've had this conversation where you're like accepting friendship or whether your relationship sort of like morphed into this little comfort zone thing just on its own where you're talking day by day you know about what you had for breakfast and all this kind of stuff and um it really amounts to like a friend zone but you never formally agreed to that if you formally agreed to be just friends with your ex and they're now treating you as such which was a marked difference from when you guys were actually together okay if that's the case you need to draw a line in the sand and say hey listen i don't want to be just friends um so i'll understand if you don't want to talk to me anymore but i really can't live like this and therefore you basically let them go their own separate way and you go your separate way and if they ever come back now it's on your terms which is romance now if you just stayed in contact after the relationship ended and it sort of evolved into or devolved into this weird kind of thing where you guys still talk all day every day but there's just like no romance or excitement there the what you're going to do in that situation is going to be a little bit different first of all you're going to have to get comfortable removing your attention from that person one of the reasons why there's no spark there anymore or that one of the reasons why you have literally no sway over your ex is because you're too available you're willing to talk all day every day at the drop of the dime you respond back to every little message they say no matter how important or not that it is and that's got to change so your ex needs to feel that your priorities have shifted sometimes you're not going to be able to respond to them because you're going to be out with your friends you're going to be doing your hobbies you're going to be living your best life and you're not going to have this immediately available attention you know because you're otherwise giving it to somebody else the second thing is you need to change up the tone of your conversation so in the space where she is where he is actually texting you what you're going to do is go into more of a playful mode so when you think back to the beginning of the relationship where you you know we're flirty and fun and all that kind of thing that's what you're going to do with this person and you're going to take the tone of the things that you're saying to them and move it into a more playful and fun direction now if you're in that second boat it's a really tricky boat to climb out of right you want to climb into the big sexier ship the speed boat okay and i'm the captain of that ship so i can help you navigate those waters and if you want help with that click into my profile down here click on this link right here and get in touch with me. Let's have a conversation about where you're at and how to get to where you want with your ex.